consumers. In this video, we will try to work with the practical number 9b. What has been asked in the practical number 9b is creating the web application to demonstrate the use of grid view button column and grid view events. That means we need to work with a button as well as we need to do some operation when the user clicks on a button. So let us consider how we can complete this particular task. For completing this task, I am planning to create a new project. This will be practical 9b. So I give a name as practical 9b. I am creating one new web form in a solution explorer. I plan to create one new web form. And inside this web form, I am interested in adding a grid view. So here I am interested in adding one grid view. The data source which is selected by me is a new data source. As we are connecting with the SQL server, I am selecting the SQL database. Establishing a new connection with my server name as back dot backslash SQL express. And the database name is our BSCIT. Under that, uh, we have a table called as employee. So, I am taking the employee table. No need to work with the where or order by or advance option. So, I just give a click on next, tested the query and clicked on a fish. So, this is a small grid view. I just try to change the format of it. Thoda sa acha format kar deta. Now, I need to change the header columns over here. So, I go to edit columns and change in the header text. I may be providing over here as employee ID. Second, I am providing it as employee name. Third, I am providing it as employee salary. Fine. So, this is how my grid view looks. I am interested in just changing its size. So, it looks better. Now, what I am expecting, I am expecting to add a button somewhere maybe before this employee ID or after this employee salary. So, how to add up a button? I go to edit columns and I am selecting over here button field and given a click on add. Now, if I want button should be before the employee ID, I need to go for selection of this or maybe at the end and up and down. Don't want it, delete it. Now, button text, I, I just say show employee name. Now, this is the link button. So, it will looks like a link. You can check. But I don't want it should be link button. Uh, I want it should be termed as our regular button. So, I can give a click on edit columns. I can go to my button column and button type is link. In that, I can select my button as regular button or maybe as the image button also, right? Now, what I am expecting when a user gives a clicks on this button called as show employee name. The corresponding uh, employee name must be displayed on label. So, I am selecting over here the option as what your label. So, whatever the uh, records show employee name button has been pressed, we need to display the employee name on this label. So, selected uh, employee name is and the employee name must be displayed. Now, for doing this operation, we require to work with the grid view events. So, which event? need to be checked. But before that, how can we understand what is the, whether the user had pressed the button or not. So, what we do, we go to edit columns and for this button, we are specifying the command name. Maybe I am giving the command name over here as show. S capital me bulo mat. So, I had given a click on OK. And now I am interested in working with the event, one event of a grid view. Uh, so, I am not double clicking on it because when I double click on it, it will go to some other event which I don't want. So, I right click on a grid view, go to the properties. I am selecting, so not a division, but I am interested in working with the grid view. So, in a grid view, I am going to its events and in the event, default event is selected index change. But I am interested in working with the event called as row command. So, I am selecting row command and planning to give a function name over here. My object name is grid view 1. So, I just provide grid view 1 underscore row 
comma. So I had come towards the function called gridview one underscore row command, which has two parameter. One is object sender, and second is gridview command event argument. So gridview command is been executed whenever you are pressing any particular object on a gridview. Anything, ah, from a gridview if you are going to press. But I want whether user had pressed the button or not. So I just write a small if condition by saying if the event arguments e dot command name is equal to equal to what is the command name I had given and as show. So the command name is been show. Then what to be done? I need to first of all retrieve the index number of a row on which the button is been pressed. So I just mention over here a variable called as n. Index equal to n dot parse in the bracket. I provide over here e dot command argument. The command argument returns what the index number, but I just convert it into string, and the string is been converted into integer because command argument returns the object. Convert into string, and then convert it into integer, and then pass towards the variable named as index. So this index. Will consist of a row number on which the button is being pressed. Now I need to retrieve the uh, name of the employee also. So I just give a variable name as string e name equal to. Uh, just just before that we need to first of all get the row entire row. For getting the entire row we will be using grid view row. So grid view row object name I had given as row equal to. I provide grid view one. Dot, then provide from all the rows. Sorry, from all the rows, tech only the index. So a specific row has been retrieved and gone to the variable uh, or gone to the object of what here grid view row. The object name is what row. Now I just take a string variable name equal to row. Row consists of what? Row consists of cells. Cells consist of what zero for employee ID, one for employee name. So I am taking one dot text. So whatever the text is there in that particular cell, that text need to be retrieved and stored it inside what your name, and then providing label one dot text equal to selected employee name is plus name. Let's try to find really it works in the same way which has been expected by us. So I run this particular web form, which will be showing me in a grid view all the records, and when I'm trying to go for pressing a particular button, then that row will be shifted to the grid view row row object. From the row object, we are retrieving a particular cell's value, and that cell's value is getting displayed over here. So if I give a click on the first record, it says selected employee name is Sri. Show employee name. Selected employee name is Q W Q W Q W. Selected employee name is Vishal, and so on. So this has been expected under your practical number nine B, where we had tried the event also, we had tried the button inside the grid view also, and for the button we had written a specific code that if this button is been pressed, then what code need to be executed? So this is what been expected under your practical nine B. So class, please stay tuned with us and please subscribe the channel. Please help us to. Uh, get more subscribers from the channel also, and we are coming with number of new videos also. Thanks a lot.